What's up, YouTube? Guns and Bets back with another video. Today's video isn't like a review or anything like that, but it's about something that literally just happened to me and my wife about, about like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I live here, well, we live here in Las Vegas, and this morning we're discussing what we want to do for breakfast. So we, we decide we're going to go to this place called Bell's Market. It's over in the hood. It's actually in the hood that I grew up in. Not too far from, from my childhood home where, you know, my dad still lives. Mom passed away last year in February. My dad still lives there. So, while we're standing in line, you know, getting ready to order our food, my wife tells me, she said, baby, you forgot your gun in the car. So I go back out and I get it, put it in the holster and, you know, I come back um, inside and stuff. You know, I'm open carrying on this occasion. Every once in a while I open carry. Most of the time I um, conceal carry. Hulk, leave the tripod alone, kitty cat. Stop it. Stop it. So, some lady asked me if I'm security. And, you know, I tell her no, kind of ignoring her, but telling her no at the same time. While we're waiting, Ann walks some idiot, gun in hand. Finger on the trigger, yelling all this nonsense about who he'll kill, who he'll smoke, who's not allowed inside of this place. No bloods, no crips, no Muslims. Talking about the, the, the Muslims from the Nation of Islam, who I'm very affiliated with because I was not an official member, but going to the mosque and stuff like that when I was younger and stuff like that. And waving his gun around, like literally waving his gun around at people. So in my mind, I'm telling myself, don't go for your gun. Don't go for your gun. Don't panic. I'm telling my wife, baby, just be quiet. Don't go for your gun. I am, if I'm facing you guys, then he, like, if this is me facing you, then he's like this. So if he was going to try to shoot, he would have had to swing the gun over and his body would have to turn, which would have given me time to go for his arm or his hand to try to block the gun from, from being pointed at us. That was the only thing I could do. Gun 101, never try to draw your firearm on somebody who's in an extremely close proximity to you, like this guy was no more than two feet away and his gun is already out. You are at a total disadvantage. He has a total tactical advantage. So you don't try to draw in that situation. Just remain calm, be quiet, don't make eye contact, don't do anything to trigger this fool even further. So after yelling and telling us all a million times how he'll kill us and what he'll do to us and blah, 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 this idiot finally decides to leave. I guess he felt he won, so he decided you know, he was done and, you know, he left. They they called for a police response, but we got our food and we left before the police got there. So I don't even know when or if they actually even showed up. But that was, it was intense. It was crazy. But leave a comment or two and say how you would have handled the situation. I thought the way we handled it was the best way to handle it, you know, just don't panic them, don't trigger them, don't do anything to freak them out so he doesn't, you know, shoot us or something like that. So let me know what you guys would have done in that situation. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Exercise your two-way two rights. And remember those last four words of the Constitution, Second Amendment to the Constitution, shall not be infringed. Peace.